So guys, welcome to this simple billing system which can be used for shops and cafes and everything. It works like a POS. So to get started with this, put your username. I'm going to start with the staffs. So username and password. Click login. And this will take you to this dashboard. On the top right, we have your name and how you can manage your account and log out. Then on the top left, we have the dashboard itself where we have the orders. You can see all the orders that you've had. You can edit, like for example, edit. You can view. And the next thing, you all, on this side, you can print. Just if you want to print. And the next thing you can also do is just to delete, but you're not going to do it right now. From here, you can search all the orders you have had. And then you can take orders. Then on this side, you, if you want to take an order, if you see on the right side, we have the categories. We have all categories, beverages, bread, meals. So we have all these on different categories, as you can see. So if you want to take maybe like fried chicken, it will be added on this so with the quantity order and the amount and then you can always add how many you want and as you can see it is it is adjusting so say for example what wanted that and maybe something like uh, beverages iced tea and then just take just one and as you can see here we have order this is where you put maybe order two then after that, as you can see, it's 155. So you can pay now or pay later. Say like maybe you want to pay now. It will bring you like a total of 155. The amount tendered or the amount that you've received, say it's just 155. So the change is zero shillings. So you click pay. So as you can see, data successfully saved. And here we have the receipt itself. So this is what you can hand to the customer if they want so you can print or you can cancel just in case so that's all about the staff side because they don't have much on the next side we will be having like the the admin side where like maybe So if you click log out, if now we go to the admin side, which we can add admin, and then we put the admin password, then you log in. It brings you to this side where we have the admins. As you can see from the top right again, we have manage account and log out, but that's for the next time. Here we have the orders. This is where we see all the orders, which is paid, paid, unpaid and you see the amount which is remaining you can edit view and delete just like the others the admin himself can always uh, can the admin the admin can add if they want to but on this side we have categories here we can add the categories of of the menus as you can see if you want to add it will just be here then on this side we have the product which will be under those categories so you first of all add the categories then you add the product under that category and you can say whether it's available or not available and then you click save then we have the sales report this is where you you get the, the, the results of what has been sold say for example you want for this month so we can just see what we have so we've sold for this month and as you can see this is what we've been able to sell with a total of like 365 we can print this if you have a printer selected here you just click print uh, print as you can see we have the pages but we just have one page we have portrait or landscape just depends on which you prefer then color black and white then you have more settings if you want to but this is not about printing so after that you can click print but then this is not what we were looking at at this so after this we have the users this is where you can see all the users who are using the system you can edit or delete them you can add a new user from here and lastly you can log out so that's a simple uh, 
managing or billing system um, hopeful like maybe it's something that you might want to improve or something that you might want and for late if you love this let me know in the comment section and i'll get back to you until next time bye bye